what's interesting about New France, why should anyone care? Uh, uh, in Quebec, it seems obvious. It, it feels like this is ancestral. In Western Canada, uh, in Nova Scotia, it might not feel the same sense of, people may not feel the same sense of personal connection. Um, and I think whether, whether you feel ancestrally connected to it or not, I think it's intrinsically fascinating and important. Okay, so it's one of the, uh, it's, it's, it's one of the most important sites of European empire building in America. You know, there's the Cortez conquest of Mexico, there's the, um, you know, Spanish domination of Peru, and there's the English coming into uh, Virginia and the later New England, and there's New France, which is, you know, a very significant uh, phenomenon. Uh, it's, it's of interest particularly, and I think this is the part of New France that historians are most um, preoccupied with today as <clears throat> one version of an, an imperial encounter between Europeans and indigenous people. And it works differently than is the case when the English, for example, encounter indigenous people in Chesapeake Bay uh, or the Spanish in uh, Mexico or Florida. Um, it, it, it's, it's hard to, to express this briefly while still giving enough qualifications, <laughs> but um, you know, the short answer to the question, sort of what's special about it, is uh, we have comparatively small numbers of natives, comparatively small numbers of Europeans. So spatially, there's, in a sense, in most places, there's room for everybody. So there's not the same intense uh, conflict over actual space. Uh, there is some of that, but not nearly as much. Um, there's more economic basis for cooperation, you know, the classic Canadian fur trade, which is not as totally benign as we've been taught in the past, but it does, it does sort of foster uh, a certain degree of mutual respect. Um, so, the, and there's, there's way more to the, the connections between indigenous and French. There's the stuff I was talking about a minute ago, the religious encounter and, you know, uh, attempts to convert and it's not clear who's converting whom to what. Uh, so complicated interactions at the level of religion and ideology and outlook and that sort of thing of uh, lots of exchange of technology and it's very much a two-way uh, operation. The French pick up canoes and snowshoes and all kinds of uh, things to do with travel, uh, which, you know, it's not just that they need it. They, they can see this as a technological wonder. They describe it in those terms. You know, it's not, they don't take it for granted. Um, and the natives are eager to uh, get access to material objects that the French can supply. So uh, perhaps more so than in many other parts of the Americas, there is some basis for um, cohabitation and cooperation. So there's that. And then you have to qualify that by looking at the other side of the coin, which is, you know what? It's still imperialism. It's still one people coming uninvited to someone else's country and attempting to take over. They take over, they attempt to take over in more subtle ways perhaps than, you know, a kind of all out military conquest onslaught, but it's still very much about taking over. Um, so, so there's these two sides that, that I think both uh, have to be kept into account, and but but anyway, and I, I, I say I think it's interesting in the context of this of this great world historical phenomenon, which is the European invasion of America, of the Americas. Okay, and it's 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 very significant in that in that context. Um, 
you have all kinds of things. So you have you have all kinds of you know evolution of indigenous cultures and ways of life in the in proximity to to European settlements. But then you also have the European settlements themselves, and they're fascinating and interesting. So we have an offshoot of Ancien Régime France here for, you know, 150 years, developing in its way and has all kinds of, um, um, you know, special qualities and characteristics that are, I think, intrinsically fascinating. Whether, whether you feel this is somehow or other your ancestors or not uh, is a bit beside the point, which is why lots of people are studying the history of New France who are not Canadian and not, and not in a context of Canadian history. It's just part of the human story uh, over the centuries. So, you know, you have, you have this Ancien Régime society that has seigneurs and habitants who are uh, subject to seigneurial tenure, um, uh, which is a lot more interesting a phenomenon than the so-called seigneurial system that students are uh, forced to memorize in, in school books. There's, th it's actually way more complicated and more interesting than, than I think most people realize. Um, you have an Ancien reg Regime state that is, um, you know, quite bureaucratic. Uh, it is not, uh, in theory, the least bit democratic. It nevertheless is uh, shaped by uh, by the people in all kinds of important ways. It's a long way from being totalitarian. Um, there's there's all kinds of experiments with different things. Just to take one example that uh, one of my colleagues works on. Um, the the claim is made. This is a slightly exaggerated claim, but the claim is made that paper money is invented in New France. The first uh, state-backed currency using paper rather than precious metals is uh, in 1685 when the intendant of New France uses playing cards and writes on them, you know, ten leave and signs it and that sort of thing. And it circulates as money. And you have to put a whole lot of qualifications on this, but but just to simplify the story a little bit, that's pretty much the first time outside China that uh, paper is used as monetary currency. So I, I, th I throw that in that someone else's um, research, it's actually my wife's research that I'm <laughs> referring to, um, uh, just as you know, one of hundreds of phenomena that are uh, characteristic of New France and that are that are of interest not just in the context of Canadian history but in the history of the in the history of the world.